I like that. I like it too. Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, nice to be back. Nice to have you back. Um, I'm not feeling very angry. Well, I wasn't until I started playing with this baby. So this is the Way Huge Angry Troll. I'll tell you what, how I acquired this. Right. So I've been selling, because I'm moving, I've been selling... <laughs> Who knew? Who knew, yeah, I told everybody. <laughs> so... Uh, I've been selling some guitars and a guy bought one of my guitars and it didn't quite, the, the amount he offered didn't quite add up to what I wanted. So he offered me some pedals as well. And this came mm -hmm. with the guitar. Excuse me, I've got an itch. It's done. Yeah. So this is the Way Huge and Control and it's the first time that I plugged it in. And it says it's a linear booster amplifier. Yeah, so James and I are doing our usual, let's make some content without actually doing any research. <laughs> So basically what this pedal is, is a boost pedal with, I guess, sort of a drive circuit in. And yeah. strangely, the, the amount of boost is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Just don't go how, there. How much you want to be fisted by the angry troll. <laughs> so should, should, we, should we go through it? Because it's, it's interesting. So as opposed to other boost pedals or drive pedals, mm -hmm. what they tend to do is to cut out a lot of the bottom end. This sort of does the opposite. Mm. It also, you know, there's no faffing. You've got a volume control and you've got how much, how much anger. That's it. I like pedals like this because yeah. it is simple. Yeah, if it's a sound you like, you like it and you don't really need to mess around with it. Yeah. Um, off. So it brings in low mids, doesn't it? Yeah. We're not using it to boost. Apparently, it gives you up to 55 dB of boost. Is that what it is? 55 dB? Quite a lot. I mean, that would drive your amp. So so that's a good way of looking at it. You could you could actually just use it just to push your amp. Mm. In this, That's the camera we're using. Oh, yes. You, yes. Could, um, you could actually just use it just to push your amp. Just, a bit more. You know, yeah, a little bit. Uh, well, a lot more. A lot more. The only thing is, is if you want something that's transparent, this is definitely not the pedal for you. No. But... Um, the anger level, it, yep. it's all pre-notched. It's, you know, starting off with a little bit of anger. to say i like it at its fuller fisting amounts than its lesser amounts of fisting yeah <laughs> <laughs> i guess it depends what you're used to you know. um yeah I, it's a really interesting pedal i, I think it's I, I like it i like it i like it if you're if you've got like a fender style amp yep this would be great that's Perfect for that because it's, it's going to fatten up your distortion sound without having to think, oh, I put too much bass in, or you know, it's it, it's exactly what that's for. I exactly, think. yeah. Sort of taking that sort of mid scoop away and pushing more mids into it. Should we um should we demonstrate? I mean, I mean it's, this is going to be the shortest video in the world, isn't it? Because yeah. it's literally you get what you see. Yeah, it's see so you you've got one, two, three, four, five, six settings and yeah. off. Okay, so how can we demonstrate this even more? How can we drag this video out even more, James? Well, I suppose the only thing we can do is demonstrate the amount of volume variation, okay. which is from, obviously, all the way off. <laughs> It 
doesn't want to be there. I think it wants to be about there. It's it's like never never use stuff at ex extremes. I always think you know there's a sweet spot in the middle for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, so about there to give you a nice bit of boost and a bit of punch for a solo, and probably either of those three for me. <laughs> I mean, it does sound great when it's cranked, though, doesn't it? You definitely lose definition when you're at the extremes, whereas I think there it's more... Dare I say it, the Paul Drew sound? Yeah, I mean, I... Do you know what? It is... I reckon I would have that about there. To push it into that sort of clean <laughs> And it's nice and dynamic. It responds to dynamic playing. You know, very well, you, very the well. more you dig in, you do get more grit and nastiness. Yep. And if if you want anger in your playing, yeah, I think it's really good. Mm, very cool. Very I would have liked. I would have liked an EQ control on it. I think just to reduce those mids a little. A tone, bit. like a tone. Yeah, like a tone. Like control. a. Yeah. Um, what's the word for like a panel tilt kind of? Exactly. Yeah. Sort of shift. Yeah. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I don't even know we. Do you know what? We know so little about this pedal. <laughs> like literally, um, at the moment, James and myself, what we're doing is, is we're profiling. So we're not profiling. We're capturing a lot of amps for um, for Tone X. So we've got a load of James's amps over and we're capturing those amps. So we thought we'd do some videos in between that and just pulled out this pedal. And <laughs> we've we planned it. nothing. <laughs> we planned nothing. But it's great. I mean, you know, you can pick these up. I'm not sure they make them anymore, but you can pick them up for 80 quid or so. I think we found on mm -hmm. eBay. Other and auction houses are available. Absolutely, and highly recommended. Yeah. Sounds great, sounds fantastic. Right, really hope you guys got something out of this video. As always, I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.